Hey everyone, it's TK here, TK RDS here with my Zon 100 bucket list that I did, episode 2 review. Y'all wondering why I'm holding my dual sense because I use it as a microphone. Welcome to all the new people here to the channel. So, if you don't know, I have been reading the manga, I've been reading the manga since like a good year ago, so was pretty excited when the anime got announced and so far the anime has been fire and it's been spot on with the manga material so it went exactly how it went in the manga um akira starting his day off he's fixing up his apartment his apartment been, his apartment has been a mess because he's been slaving at that that job for three years so after he fixed up his apartment he kind of wanted to just chill have it be like a lazy day and drink some beer but there's a problem. He's out of beer, so he gotta go make him a run. As he's leaving the apartment, he encounters other fellow people that live in the apartment in the lower floor. They are frightened, they're scared, they don't know what they're gonna do. And uh, Akira and one of the, the guy that lives in the apartment with his wife or girlfriend, they had a little funny moment because they made eye contact as he's leaving, as he's a. Uh, crawling down the drain pipe thing of the building. But then Akira, he's really nice to him. He asks them the same thing they need. they like, uh, yeah, this, you can give us this. Because they look at him like he's crazy because it's a zombie apocalypse world, you know. So, uh, yeah, that happens as, uh, okay, let's make sure things is right. So, yeah, as Akira is leaving, he's... Well, he's making his way to the store, pretty much. He made his way to the store. He's happy. He's doing a little beer singing song. As he's walking down the aisle, he encounters our new, one of our new main characters, uh, Shizuka. Shizuka is her name. Um, uh, she's uh, getting her things. Akira is trying to make a little bit of small talk with her. He's thinking about the song he was singing, how weird and awkward she might think he is. Was singing that that song uh, she's not really responding much to him um at, before she's like leaving like he's getting ready to leave he asks for contact information because it's not that many people left in the area so he like says we're both survivors and maybe we could chat every now and then so he's asking for a number pretty much or an email or something like that and she tells him uh pretty much you're risking your life for something so non-essential like some beer she's like uh pretty much like if you're going to risk your life risk it for something that's going to keep you alive help you survive nothing not something like that um and uh as she's talking to him uh akira sees some zombies coming to the store he's kind of trying to protect their there's this horn that's been going on outside the store for a Good little minute as they was talking. She grabs him, yanks him back. In that moment, the truck, it's a truck that was outside. It collides, well, crashes into the store. And uh, pretty much after the crash happened, she grabs her stove. She leaves, take off on his bike. The carry guy found him a new ride when he encounters a scooter. So he's riding down the, uh, riding back on his, riding back, riding back his way home and he sees a motorcycle so he takes that um pop the wheelie going crazy on it having a blast but he's also thinking about uh what shizuka said to him about risking his life for uh, something like that so yeah by the way he, he didn't get the contact information by the way he didn't get the contact info. she took off on but um He's making his way back, climbing back up the drain pipe where he was coming down from when he saw those neighbors. When he sees the RIP scene because the glass is broken to the door where the people was living at. And he finds out that they are dead now. They got bloody footprint, blood everywhere inside the room. And Akira kind of saw that. It kind of crushed him. You could see in his face. He was saddened to see that they was gone. And he's thinking more about what Shizuka said about him. You're risking your life for something so non-essential like that. And uh, he's like, you can have a short life. You can have a long life. 
he kind of made, he definitely decided to make his bucket list. He got like 32 items on the bucket list. Some of the things already crossed out. But he got a good starting list right there. It's going to be plenty more stuff added to the list later on in the series. You'll see when that happens. But that's when he makes his bucket list. Some of the things he want to do before he becomes a zombie. Um, after that, we get a point of view of Shizuka. We seen what Shizuka was doing in her day before she met Akira at the store. So we're seeing her. Uh, she's like she's like she's staying fit. She's studying tape on zombie movies. She's studying how zombie moves in the their world. Their world, seeing the patterns of you know, if they're gonna this is a walking type zombie. This is a fast zombie. Uh, she's kind of collecting data on the zombies that she's like, like viewing them, watching them. She's trying to uh, have the necessary energy sources, food sources for her. She's not really trying to eat any sweets, things like that. She's really focused on staying alive and living, living her best life in the zombie apocalypse world, pretty much. So, um, like I said, they showed that part and they showed her when she met Kira and after that and she was thinking back on it she was like he really risked his life to get something like that and she can't believe how happy he was for that the beer and she was like maybe I should have got that that little soccer cake or whatever it's called that was in that store because she was she was showing again necessary items she didn't think about getting something like that that would probably make her a little happy in this world but uh yeah like I said, episode two, Zone 100, Bucket List of the Dead, spot on with the manga. It went according to how the manga was uh, written and wrote and drawn, you know. It's, it's, it's spot on. It's spot on with the with the manga. So you're not really missing out much with the, uh, you're not missing out on the manga so far. It's, it's spot on with what's happening in the manga. But overall, the episode was nice. Uh don't have any criticisms or anything like that. I enjoy the music. I got I got to point that out. Because that's one thing you get. Well, that's one thing you get when you you get that you don't get when you read the manga. You don't hear the music, the soundtrack, the vibes they want to uh, display for you. So the music is really nice touch to it on certain moments. Um, I didn't mention this yesterday. I mean, my bad. I say the other week. But I really like the voices so far. The voices is exactly how I kind of picture and cure the sound and kind of how Jizuka would sound. I'm not watching dub. I don't do dub. It's sub only. We do listen to Japanese voices only. Um, yeah, we starting the war right now. Sub game. But anyways, um, overall, good episode. Uh, can't wait for next week. See how that one plays out. And uh, we're going to keep riding this thing in the... Uh, Yo, Zone 100 is definitely the hottest anime in the season. I've been keeping my eye on the thing because I'm in that fantasy anime league on my anime list. That thing is taking off. That thing is fire. Like I predicted because I already have, I always have the hottest stuff in the season. But anyways, I'm TK, TK, RDS. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the thumbs up if you want to or thumbs down. If you leave a comment if you want. I mean, a comment if you want to. And uh, just stick around for my next review next week i might do a review for another anime who knows i'm not too sure yet i'm just kind of trying to focus on zone 100 but so far zone 100 is fire there are some other ones that i might i might have to do like other video later on to give an honorable mention but there's some other good animes out there this season if you haven't checked my video when i did the season overview i'll have a preview right there, I guess, when this feels gearing the end, so click click on it. But anyways, thanks for tuning in. Till next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.